so guess what, everybody? We had the the horrible killing uh, massacre of 50 people in Orlando. Donald Trump responded to it the way anybody would respond. Hey, appreciate the congrats for being right on radical Islam. <laughs> appreciate the congrats. I, I want I, you know I wish we had Twitter on nine twelve. <laughs> would love to see what his tweets look like then. So, hey, appreciate the congrats. <laughs> appreciate the congrats. So. This, there's a couple of things going on. The first thing is somebody sees 50 people massacred with an AR-15 inside of a nightclub in Orlando, and the first thing they do is call Donald Trump to congratulate him. <laughs> really? That goes through someone's head? Hey, let's congratulate Trump. Yeah, you know who congratulated him? David Duke. That's who congratulated him. The Grand Dragon congratulated him. I think... Oh, anyway. 72,000 likes. Look at that. I don't want congrats. I want toughness and vigilance. That, you know, there's nothing more inspiring than when a draft dodging rich kid tells you to be tough and vigilant, huh? Am I right? Mm -hmm. So now a lot of people, a lot of even Republicans are being upset the way Donald Trump has responded to this. He's blaming Barack Obama for it, which everybody's freaking out. Here, I'll give you a little bit, a little taste of some of the stuff he well, said. Live by a man that either is, is, is not tough not smart, or he's got something else in mind. And there's something else in mind. You know, people can't believe it. Pe so he keeps doing, he does that N-U-N do, that, that horrible smear tactic of, I don't know what's going on with him, but there's something going on with him, but he's doing, he's doing that thing, right? People cannot be, uh, they cannot believe that President Obama is acting the way he acts and can't even mention the words radical Islamic terrorism. There's something going on. It's in. By the way, you know why... They don't say radical and why Barack Obama says ISIL instead of ISIS and all that stuff. That's because they're not giving in to the terrorists. The terrorists want that uh, imprimatur. Uh, they want that stamp of, yes, we are about Islam. They're not. They're maniacs. You know how the KKK isn't about Christianity? ISIS isn't about Islam. Well, I happen to think KKK is about Christianity, but, you know, that's just me. You think it is? Yeah. Okay. So, well, let's put it this way. It's as, ISIS is as much about Islam as the KKK is about Christianity. How about that? Okay, that's better. Is that like better? That, yeah. All right. So, uh, here we go. But led by a man that either is, is, is not... But, but my point is, that's what the terrorists want to be called. That's yeah. what they want them to say. And so the smart move is to not, because it elevates them. So they're do, of course, they're doing the smart thing, and every right-winger moron, and including Donald Trump, wants them to do the dumb wrong thing that actually hurts us, right? Hey, right. turns out invading Iraq and killing hundreds of thousands of people didn't bring peace to the Middle East, and it didn't stop them from wanting to kill us. That's weird. Okay, so here he's got some more. Not smart, or he's got something else in mind. And there's something else in mind... You know, people can't believe it. People cannot be. Uh, so he just keeps going. He he won't stop saying that stuff. What else? What else does he have in? Huh? Barack Obama somehow he somehow again hates America and he's in with the terrorists because he's black and he has a Muslim name. There you go. Uh, so the Washington Post: Trump blames Obama for Orlando shooting, blasts Clinton on immigration. Uh, and not a lot of the Republicans are upset with with Trump for doing that and how outrageous that is. Oh, but it turns out that's all bullshit because here is John McCain. John McCain, their their nominee in two thousand eight. Remember when he remember when he had integrity, and he said, "No, Barack Obama's a nice Muslim. He's a good American. He's a good family man. This happens to be a Muslim." I mean, he's not, he happens to have that name. He's not a Muslim. And he even said he's not an Arab. Remember, John McCain is not an mm -hmm. Arab. Well, he, was, he did that poorly, though. He goes, no, he's not a Muslim. He's a good man. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, did he, kind of awkwardly was, say that, yeah. like implying that if you're a Muslim, you can't yeah. be a good man. Even though, you know, uh, I met Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and he was fantastic. Great actor. Mo Muhammad Ali also. Very good writer, good. too. Muhammad Ali, fantastic, fantastic human being. Uh, so here's what John McCain said about him. He said, Barack Obama is directly responsible for it because when he pulled everybody out of Iraq, Al-Qaeda went to Syria. So he's blaming Al-Qaeda went to Syria, became ISIS, and ISIS is what is today thanks to Barack Obama's failures, utter failures by pulling everybody out of Iraq. 
really directly responsible for it because when he pulled everybody out of Iraq, what about the guys who pulled everybody into Iraq? They have any responsibility for this? You know, the guys who lied, created an illegal war, killed hundreds of thousands of people, destabilized the Middle East on purpose, set the groundwork for World War III. You know, those guys, you know, the Republican Party, Dick Cheney, George Bush, Donald Rumsfeld, Colin Powell, who went to the U.N. and lied. You know, those guys. No, not them. It's the it's for Barack Obama for pulling us out. It's not the guys who pulled us into Iraq. OK. So the president. So the responsibility for it lies with the president, Barack Obama, and his failed policies. McCain told reporters on Capitol Hill. So that so Trump and again, this whole thing that somehow Trump is some monster, some Frankenstein that they don't know who he is. They're just like him. He's just like, he's just, he's them. Trump is the Republicans just a little louder. He's them. And so then John McCain here, John McCain uh, questioned on his startling assertion. McCain initially repeated it. He said directly responsible because he pulled everybody out of Iraq. And I predicted at the time that ISIS would go unchecked and there would be attacks on the United States of America. It's a matter of record. So he is directly responsible. So first of all, he's, he's just out of his mind that somehow this guy had nothing to do with ISIS. He's born in Queens, has nothing to do with ISIS. He's a homosexual who hates himself and he's bipolar and he's maniac. And he's already violent with his wife. He's been violent since he was in fifth grade, this guy. This guy's crazy. But uh, qualified to own a gun. But qualified to own a gun. Under, in John McCain's America, yeah. he'd be able to get a gun. And he was a big fan of the NYPD. Blue. And so... John McCain started to get uh, a lot of flack for that. And for, he's trying to do it. He's trying to do it, Trump. I'll double down. You call me on it. I'm going to say it. I'll repeat it. You're not going to scare me. Well, then he did get scared because John McCain scares. He only gets scared when you threaten to take away his money or power. And that's ha <laughs> ha or his status. That's what, that's what scares him. He can, somehow he can start on the Vietnamese pretty well, but somehow he can't start, start on a donor. So uh, here, so they started to get on him, and then he came back with this. I didn't mean to imply that the president was personal responsibility. I was referring to President Obama's national security decisions, not the president himself, McCain said in his statement issued as his initial comments were drawing heated criticism from Democrats. Yes, the competition to out-Trump crazy will be tough competition, but I think the rest of the Republicans are up to the challenge. Did you mean to say out-Trump crazy or out-crazy Trump? I meant out-crazy Trump. Did I say yeah. out-Trump yeah. crazy? Yeah, Re repeat that. I meant to say out-crazy Trump. Thank you for, for, for uh, clearing that up for me. No, no, it's okay. We'll leave it in. He went on, as I have said, President Obama's decision to completely withdraw and have long warned the failure of the president's policy to deny ISIL safe haven would allow the terrorist organization to inspire. Blah, 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 blah. So he's blaming. There you go. He's pretty much saying the same thing. He's saying the exact same thing that he said. No, I'm not saying that. Here, I'm going to say it exactly the same thing. But he didn't so, mean to imply. I don't mean to imply. I just mean to say plainly. So again, there's your, there's a Republican party. So get, you, you know, they try to pretend you're not like Trump. You're not one of them. I don't know if I can endure. Hey, those comments come out of left field. He's just saying what you guys always say a little louder. He's he's chanting, build that wall. John McCain, four years, six years ago, was saying, build the dang fence. Now they're saying, build a wall. So Donald Trump is not different from the Republicans. He is who you are. He's just a little louder. And thanks for John McCain for for revealing it. Thank God he's such a craven, craven politician. And he can't help but reveal the hypocrisy and emptiness of the right wing. I say thanks, Johnny.